Hey guys, it's PMHK here, obviously, and as you guys can see, we are in Cape Town. And if you have probably seen from one of my previous videos, we got the iPhone XR in the house. So there is no better place than Cape Town to actually do a camera test. So we're here in VNA Waterfront, and we're gonna go around and take some pictures or we're using the iPhone XR just to give you guys a little sample of how the camera of the iPhone XR looks like. So this is gonna be our first location, then we're gonna go elsewhere for us also to take a couple of shots with the iPhone and you guys can actually comment down below what you think about the picture but but so far I'm really enjoying what the camera of the iPhone XR does as you guys can see it's only one single camera but it's really really powerful So for this last shoot we came at the uh, Boca houses, Bocap, Bocap, Bocap houses because obviously it was going to pop much much better and obviously you're going to see the pictures much better uh, on the camera itself but then again uh, <laughs> this place is actually not safe so we have to actually call our uh, Uber and leave because we've been here for almost Two hours now and this is gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoy the pictures that we took let me know which one is your favorite picture i'm actually looking so i can see what's going on let me know which one is your favorite picture down in the comments obviously if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you go and give a subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think of the iphone 10r are you gonna be buying one uh i know initially we were not planning to get one for myself but we just went ahead and uh got it so we could uh test it out so i'll catch you guys on the next one hope you are enjoying yourself whatever you're doing or wherever you are and yeah that's gonna be it for me on this video peace it's like some guys coming into cape town and they're not from book up and they don't know the real history about the cape Malay people and they tell the people of the colors of the houses what the reason is the people when they're down in, uh, in downtown and they drink in it and then they come and then they say their house is like blue and then they can be dropped there or be brought there because the color of the houses are blue and they are drunk so that's how they know the colors of the houses when they're drunk where they stay but actually that's not the truth the color is the enrichment of the Cape Malay people it's the time of the slavery and the second also of January will be important as slaves to enjoy themselves and make coloring clothes like I have on also coons and they have like instruments and walk up and down the roads. This house was only made like this like in the early 80s, in late 70s. But it's also a culture also of color. We love everyone and we engage with everyone. And it's not about racism or anything, but it's this book up. Well, it's this book up. And we people of love, inheritance, and future forward, and history. We love history. And we are to love and learn about everyone's history.